Let's solve this initial value problem. We have 4y double prime minus 8y prime plus 3y equals 0. Now this is a homogeneous ODE with constant coefficients. Homogeneous, there's nothing on the right hand side and we can see our constant coefficients. Now we also know that y at 0 is equal to 2 at y, and the y prime at 0 is equal to 1 half. Now first step, let's write up our characteristic equation. 4 r squared minus 8 r plus 3 equals 0. Make sure you don't accidentally put another r here just because there's a y there, okay? Now we're gonna solve this simple quadratic equation. We can find our two roots, 1 half and 3 over 2. Now this is, we know that when we're working with the homogeneous equations, there's three options that we can end up with, right? We can have uh, real roots with the two different and distinct. We can have two roots that are the same and they are real, or there's complex roots. This is the situation where we have two roots that are real and they are also distinct. In this case, we know these will be our two solutions for it, e to one half t, and the second one e to three over two times t. Our solution, c1 e to the one half t plus c2 e to the three over two t. Now, we solved the differential equation part, now let's solve the IVP part. First, we know y at 0 is equal to 2, therefore we're going to take this equation, y is equal to 2, so 2 equal, c1e, 1 one half, and instead of t we are plugging in 0, there you go, plus c2e to the 3 over 2 times instead of t, 0 again. So there you go, and from this we're going to get this equation, 2 equals c1 plus c2. Now we also know that the y derivative at 0 is equal to 1 half. Now what we found here is just simply y. So I'm going to bring it down here, but we need to take a derivative of it. So take a derivative of this and of this. Here it is. Now we can finally use this one and plug in. So y prime is one half equal everything you see here, except instead of the t's, we're going to plug in a zero. Okay. As you can see, again, the e's will become one. And this is the equation that we are left with. One half c1 plus three over two c2 equals one half. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. So simply make a system of equations out of it and we're able to find our c1 and c2. c1 equals to 5 over 2. c2 is equal negative 1 half. Now we can utilize these and update our solution. y equals Instead of c1, we plug in 5 over 2, e 1 half t, minus, instead of c over 2, we put negative 1 half, so negative 1 half e 3 over 2 t. And that would be our final answer. Thank you for watching. Please like the video so other people can find it as well. And have a good day.